Okay, now we are going to cover widgets. Uh, this is one of the more prominent things that most blog uh, owners like to use and like to customize about their theme is what is displayed in their sidebar. Their sidebar is the little bar along the side that basically shows uh, useful information that wants to that should or need to be accessed from any part of any page inside of your site. So. Um, different themes are going to have any number of sidebars available. Some will have one, some will have two, some will have as many as 14. So you're going to have a wide variety available depending upon the theme that you select. And we're going to go through each of these things one at a time. So, The archives. The archives are basically exactly what they say they are. Um, archives will basically give you a list of uh, month and year of all your old posts. So uh, however many posts you have across however many months is going to show up in an archive list. Um, you are going to be able to show the post counts, how many posts are within each month and year, and, and that will basically keep growing as your blog grows. One thing about the archives though is that as you maybe accumulate up to four years worth of blog posts, that list is going to get pretty long. So WordPress gave you the option to display it as a drop down. So now instead of taking up 48 lines in your sidebar, which is pretty valuable real estate, you instead can display one line, which is a drop down. They can select it and it will automatically go to that archive post. You simply give it a title and you're all set to go. Alright, the next is the calendar. If people want to go over maybe a posting that you did maybe earlier in the month but not necessarily old enough to go through the archives, which is over a month old, you usually want to be able to access that through the calendar. Every day that you post is going to show up as a link on your calendar and WordPress will update that automatically for you for quick and easy access. It's a very handy feature in your sidebar. Your categories. Your categories uh, will basically show all of the categories that you have and it'll also, just like your archives, either be able to show it as a drop down if you have a large list of categories and show how many count how many posts that you have within each of your categories. And also another very handy feature is the hierarchy. Sometimes you want to be able to show all the subcategories within the categories and sometimes you don't. So to be able to do that you can just click the show hierarchy and it'll show all your subcategories for you. So that's a very handy thing to have to keep your blog structured and organized is your categories. Your links. Your links is basically, like I said, your blog role. Uh, you can show every single link here and you have your different options available such as the description if you decided to put one in there and also an image which is an advanced feature if you wanted to have an image next to each link. But the handy part about this was that if you want to you can only show a certain category of links in this individual link section. So let's say if you want to have your links to your blog role but then you created another category you can put in, you can save this, minimize that and you can create another link section that shows a different category in there as well. So it's very handy to have. Your metadata. Your metadata is just a fancy way of saying your login, log out and all that other your your feed link and um, all the and your admin link and the WordPress links and all those little supplemental stuff that kind of didn't have a place but needed to be shown. So this will give you all those little links that that you need to have on your site, especially if you have registered users that log in and interact with your site on a logged in basis versus a guest basis. So the metadata is very important to have if you have that kind of stuff. Pages. Very important thing about this pages section is not only obviously does it show your pages, but there's an extra feature in there that you want to have. Um, obviously, you can sort by page different items such as your page order, page ID, or just the title as normal. But there's a little exclude section. Uh, let's say if you had a thank you page or a, a password protected page that you didn't want the whole world to know about, you can exclude it by an ID. So let's say if you had page ID 3, which is and page ID 10, you can put that in there and it will not show up in that pages section. That's a very, very useful tool to have inside of this widget is the exclude. You find pages by um, going to the pages section, which we'll do right now. And if you hover over it at the bottom of your browser, depending on what the browser is, it'll show exactly what your ID is. Um, you can't see it right now for security reasons on under this video but if you highlight it you'll see the link and at the very very end of that link 
is an actual number and that number is your page ID so you simply go back to your widgets and you just simply enter that page that you want to exclude and it won't show up it's a very useful tool uh, recent comments and recent posts are pretty much the same thing they're pretty self-explanatory you can add anywhere between 1 and 15 comments for people to show and that really helps your visitors engage in your conversation and see what the latest stuff is on your site so recent comments and recent posts are actually pretty good to put into your sidebar for quick access the tag cloud just like I spoke of earlier will just display your clouds in, in a, just a very hodgepodge and mashed together way of the different tags you have on your site with the one exception if anybody's ever seen a tag cloud before they obviously know what I'm talking about the more of a single word that you add as a tag inside of all of your posts the more prominent it will be in your tag cloud basically this gives uh, users a quick access to some of the most frequently discussed about topics on your blog and it's, it displays them all in link form and whenever they click, a, click on that individual keyword it will automatically take them to a page that shows every post that pertains to that tag so it's actually pretty handy to use if you want people quick access to common topics that are spread across multiple categories or spread across your blog the search feature usually is displayed at the top of a sidebar and the good thing about the search feature is if you do not display a title it will not show one so it'll only display the search box and the search button so it's actually a little tidbit there that not many people know about so if you want a quick search on your sidebar to be able to search your entire site you just simply add it to your sidebar alright and the RSS feed this is a very powerful tool that you can use inside of your sidebar the RSS feed will basically allow you to enter any RSS feed URL, not just ones from your blog or your site, but any one that you can find on the internet. So if you have a blog that you enjoy reading and you talk about all the time, you can maybe put their feed in there. Or maybe if you have a certain feed from, let's say, a Google search or something along those lines, you can put that feed into here and it will display the posts on in your sidebar and the little feed items for your your visitors and your guests and your registered users to quit get quick access to so it's a very valuable tool to use if let's say that you have a frequently updating content from different areas of the net that you don't want to necessarily do all yourself a good RSS feed in your sidebar will take care of that for you and I save one of the common most commonly used widely flexible and one of the best widgets in the entire arsenal of widgets you have with WordPress for last and that is your text and this is basically a free-for-all do anything you want arbitrary text or HTML section if you want to add a simple welcome comment if you wanted to add latest news here if you wanted to add AdSense code if you wanted to add an uh, opt-in code from let's say an autoresponder you can add anything you want into this text box we'll also go over things such as short codes later but you can even add things along those lines as well you can add just about anything into this text box and have it displayed upon your, so your, your sidebar it's a very 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 powerful tool that's available because of how flexible it is so a couple other quick things I wanted to go over real quick is that you can add multiple of the same thing inside of your sidebar let's say if I had three different text things that I wanted to add I can add them all into the same sidebar which is a very handy tool um, also let's say if you're working on something let's say such as text or something along those lines and you wanted to continue working on it but you didn't want to necessarily show it on your sidebar just yet you can keep it in the inactive widget section that will still save all the data that's inside of it but it will not display it on your sidebar so it's a, actually a pretty useful tool to have and anytime you ever want to get rid of something in your sidebar just simply drag it out and it'll go away same thing with the inactive widgets you say I don't actually want to add this to my sidebar I want to get rid of it just drag it out and it'll auto update for you you can also reorder your sidebar by simply dragging and dropping there's no need to save it saves everything automatically for you so it's a very handy and very very robust tool to use and that pretty much does it for widgets. Um, one other thing is that a lot of plugins will add widgets automatically to this section. So anytime you ever install a plugin, which we'll go over later, um, you'll want to come back and check this section to see if there's any useful widgets that have been added as a result of that plugin that you may want to display on your sidebar. 
Well, that pretty much does it for widgets. We'll see you in the next video.